I'm off work this week and right now I'm driving back from Leicester. I've been there for the National Space Centre, I haven't just been to Leicester for the sake of it. Although if you do live in the UK, I would advise going to Leicester every now and again because once you've been there, wherever you live will seem a lot better. On the way into Leicester, there's a sign that says landfill site, and isn't that the fucking truth? If you're from Leicester, I'd like to apologise to you, but I honestly can't, because the whole city is a shithole. But that means I had to do some driving, and it's only about 70 miles from where I live to Leicester city centre. So my sat-nav says it's about an hour and 20 minutes, but that's bollocks. Because on the way there, I got stuck in three traffic jams. You know, if you're in the USA, and you ask someone how far it is to go somewhere, they'll go, oh, just drive that way about two hours. In Britain, that could mean a hundred miles, or it might mean a mile and a half, depending on traffic. But, as I'm doing now, driving along a dual carriageway, first of all, I can't believe how many people there are. I mean, I expect there to be lorries and delivery vans and sales reptiles and a few retired people. What the fuck's everyone else doing? They can't all have the day off to go to the National Space Centre or would have seen them there. But traffic's appalling. I was in a traffic jam this morning at quarter to ten. Quarter to ten on a Tuesday morning. What's going on? But driving in the UK, I've encountered some of the most common problems. First of all, are HGVs. Now, I expect them to be on the road. The problem is all wagons in the UK are restricted to 56 miles an hour or they should be. What in fact happens is some are restricted to 56 and others are restricted to 55.9 miles an hour. So that means the guy that can go a tenth of a mile an hour quicker will pull into the fast lane and will sit there as long as it fucking takes for him to creep past. Massive tailback building up behind him and you guarantee the second that bastard gets past he'd turn it off at the next exit. The next problem we have because of the time of year our tractors. Now the thing is, I'm originally from uh, Norfolk, so if I talk like this, like a country bumpkin, that's not being disrespectful, that's just the way I was brought up to talk. But when I was about 18, I thought, fuck, I sound backward, and that's why I have my generic southern accent. But the tractor drivers, they're all out there, with a trailer full of hay. I've never understood where they're moving this hay to, or why it's so fucking important. But they're coming up the deal carriageway. It doesn't matter their tractor only does 25 mile an hour, they just pull fucking straight out, don't they? Everyone's slamming the brakes on. Tractor drivers don't check their mirrors, doesn't matter, their trailer's always illegally overloaded anyway. They can't see what's behind them, and they don't give a fuck. Oh, there's a load of banging going on behind me, some silly bastard must have crashed. What went on there then? And also, because yesterday was a bank holiday Monday, we've got the last of the caravanists. And these are people who've had a long weekend enjoying their time shitting in a fucking bucket.